Hi y'all, it's Tyler, and we're back here again with some Ty Gibbs news. The notorious TYG is back after a short siesta of kind of staying out of the news. He now finds himself once again at the center of controversy after wrecking his teammate and champ for hopeful Brandon Jones, who was eliminated from contention after being spun in Martinsville by Gibbs. And I want to kind of talk about Gibbs' reaction to this win and give my opinion on whether Ty Gibbs needs to kind of reconsider his actions like we've said a hundred times now, or if it's time to kind of lean into the villain persona that he seems to be building for himself. Before I get started, if y'all could please like the video and subscribe to the channel, it would mean a lot to me. And please follow me on Twitter and TikTok for more daily NASCAR content. Ty Gibbs is obviously the grandson of team owner Joe Gibbs, and there is nothing wrong with that. 110% if my grandfather were a NASCAR team owner, you bet your money I wouldn't be hunched over a desk every day, I would be attempting to be a NASCAR driver. There is nothing inherently wrong with being granddaddy's little racer. The issue is when you act like a spoiled racer whose grandpa will sweep everything under the rug and never hold you accountable. Gibbs has become pretty much known for his aggressive driving that at times teeters beyond aggressive and into purely dirty driving. Um, his actions this week, I think, are proof of that. Um, you know, really just just completely blatant disregard for situational awareness, for a teammate, just for everything going on around him. He ignored it and focused strictly on winning a race at all costs. And, you know, we usually, after he does something like this, we get the, I'm going to learn from this speech, and he maybe just doesn't get very active on Twitter that week. But this time, we got an outright lack of any type of remorse. He celebrated like he just won the championship and proceeded to egg the crowd on, which I was in attendance for. Um, and, I mean, it was a lot of booze, and he was getting out and trying to egg all of us on to keep the booze coming, bring it on type of mentality. This was the first time I actually saw him kind of lean into the villain persona and stop trying to act like it was just a learning experience. And for a brief moment, I had respect for it. I still think it was pure stupidity to knock out any chance a car your grandfather who has funded your entire career owns and pretty much ruining any chance that that JGR car gets a shot at the championship and that JGR as a team gets an equal shot at the championship uh, going up against Junior Motorsports. But... I can at least respect the fact that you that he stopped apologizing for something he clearly had never been sorry for to begin with. And you know, I actually like Ty Gibbs' aggressive racing style. I like guys like that. I just don't like it whenever it's done to teammates and whenever it doesn't need to be done. Whenever you can make a clean pass and you just choose not to do it. And for the most point, I think Ty is a welcome and fun addition to NASCAR after all. You know, we need guys to root against in the sport. The days where drivers we like win are less special if we don't have someone to acti actively root against. The sport needs bad guys, and Ty Gibbs definitely fits that bill. But it's still hard to tell what exactly he is trying to be. Because right after this race, he goes on radio and says, Jesus was booed at first too. Pretty much indirectly comparing himself to Jesus. <laughs> And while I'm confident that Ty didn't mean for it to come off that way, it still shows a lack of awareness. And honestly, I don't know why um, he just got done ruining a guy's season, possibly his team season, and then shows zero remorse towards fan and is still trying to act like a good little Christian boy. It doesn't make sense. And I think it's clear that Ty Gibbs is not an innate, immoral person. I think he's a very young, privileged kid who's probably at least been spoiled through his racing career and has yet to really discover a level of respect required to on-track competitors. I think Ty Gibbs doesn't really know what he wants to be. He wants to be loved and be a role model like everybody, but when he gets out on track, an innate urge to win at all costs and pretty much disregard for all those around him goes into effect. And I think he attempted not to lean into a villain persona, but... His actions have now gotten repetitive, and it's becoming like a nearly every weekend thing, and I think he now finds himself with no choice but to lean into it. 
Because to me, I it, it, it's already impossible to shake off the Silver Spoon talk. Um, but he could have at least been like the Dylan brothers and not be as controversial. Uh, but now he's painted this picture of himself that really is never going to wash away to the NASCAR fan base at large. Literally, Ty Gibbs could come out and say, I'm changing and never going to bump anyone out of the way again. He'd still never shake that first impression he's given the fan base, and he will always be the spoiled rich kid who has no respect for anyone. So to me, I would take the Kyle Busch and Joey Logano approach and lean into the black hat. Keep this same energy going. I genuinely do not think Ty Gibbs wants to be perceived as a bad guy. The issue is whether you want to chalk it up to being young, spoiled, privileged, or all three, he naturally makes decisions on and off the track that lack awareness and come at the ire of other competitors and fans. What's the point in pretending to be something that he's not? I'm sure Ty Gibbs isn't a bad dude, but this is an entertainment business. Brand yourself as the next Kyle Busch and market the heck out of it. There's zero point in trying to change the way you drive or appeal to the masses because when you change your driving style, you end up losing what made you great to begin with. And the masses will never like you, even if you do change. First impressions at this point are everything. And one thing is for sure, I think that he cannot keep getting out of his car and giving us fake apologies. Nobody likes that. That's how you get rid of the fans you already have. You definitely don't make new ones that way. And if you... You know, you're, you're just going to lose all the fans that you that genuinely like you how you are. Even if it's just your racing persona, put on the black hat. Embrace what you've pretty much done to yourself. That's my opinion. What do you guys think? Is Ty Gibbs the next bad guy in NASCAR? Or do you think he's gotten a little misunderstood at this point in his career? Tell me what you think in the comments, and I hope you all have a great day.